Howdy, welcome to another fun-filled episode of Chilo Gear Propaganda Films. Chilo Gear, we make packs. Today, we're gonna to talk about uh, putting crampons and ice tools and ice axes on our packs. Uh, I'm gonna take off the lid on this woven, non-woven 30 liter, uh, just so I could show it to you a little bit more easily. A lot of people say, well, well, where are the tool loops? Well, you know, with modern tools, they've got pretty small heads, so tool loops don't always work. What we've done is developed a new system that's uh, quite different than everybody else's in a couple of ways. And I'll just show you one of the ways right now. The fabric is not attached to the buckle, and so you get an extra degree of freedom because then the, you can do what you need to with the buckle. For example, I just wrapped this around because I'm scared. Because here in Chilo Gear, we climb the upside down backwards ice fang when we're drunk. Uh, well, other people do. I work. And then up here at the top, it's quite simple. Snap that guy on. You want to use a more traditional tool. You know, we like light things here at Chilo Gear. This is one of those lightest mountaineering axes around. Well, that'll go right in. You can have your points in. You can have your points out. Doesn't really matter. With the new 30 liters, you can also just snap a couple together, or the two, those two loops together and get something else. So here we go again, and I'll just uh, flick that on. And Shazam, there's my tool. Uh, I want to take another technical tool, no problem. And this is where the degrees of freedom come into play again. Because the tool holster is separated from the buckle, you can do goofy things like bring too much hoop. You know, even with a small pack like this, it's possible to go for eight days. I don't know how Kyle could do that, but hey, let's go with it. Uh, and then this way, you know, you've got all three tools that you need, because let's face it, I'm a bit of a tool. Uh, the question is, how do you put on crampons? There's no crampon pocket. What do you do? Let me try to show you right here. Uh, nice old pneumatics, fabulous crampons from Gravel. You just put them here and they'll magically stay on. Well, not quite so magically. Uh, I'm a little lazy because I got rid of the lid. I'll just use the lid straps that are here. I clip one in on that side. And then I clip it in across the pack. And this way, I'm going to get, not only will I get the crampons to stay on, but I'm also compressing the whole pack and bringing the entire load in from the front. Well, gee, that was so easy that I think I might just do the same thing on the other side. No worries. Shazam, there it goes. And there you've got it. You know, you could use... Uh, side release buckle strap though if you wanted you know, let's say it's those fast x buckles you know they can be released i wouldn't want that to happen accidentally so i just put the simple strap on and i can bring it up here to the top of the pack or i could bring it even if i release this a little bit we can put it into the same spot is this guy, there, you're not going anywhere. So that's what, how you can put crampons and ice tools onto the 30 liter woven, non-woven, regular 30 liter, or for that matter, it's basically the same thing here with a 45, with one caveat. If you wanna do a 45 with just a strap, you could do that too. Because the 30 liter is so small, it's a lot easier to have the strap go all the way back to the suspension rather than have something else going out of the front. Because this guy, I mean, look, he's a little one, but it's big enough for eight days. Well, there you have it on putting straps and stuff onto a Chilo Gear 30 liter work sack and a Chilo Gear 45 liter work sack. See, it comes off all nice. And let's just show, I don't know how people don't understand this. Maybe I'm just crazy. But here's the tool attachment on the bigger pack as well. Groovy? Got it? Good. Chilo Gear Propaganda Films. Was glad to have you over today. Bye.